Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is Lake Kate here, and in today's video, we're gonna be doing a part two of modeling my fans' concepts. And my last video on that did actually surprisingly really good. So today we're back with another video, and as you can probably see if you guys watch episode one, if you guys haven't already, it will be popping up on the screen. You guys can click it. But as you can probably see in the wheel from episode one, there's a lot more people who have submitted this stuff since that episode, and now there is a ton on there. Again, if you don't see your um creatures name on here then it's probably most likely been put submitted before this video was even started so you'll probably see it in the next video like i said so i hope you guys do enjoy today's video subscribe if you guys are new to my channel and you haven't already become late potatoes because late potatoes are pro potatoes and also subscribe if you guys haven't already we are so close to 7k subscribers it's very appreciated and i just can't wait because i can't believe i'm already almost close to 10k subscribers which is amazing but yeah, let's go ahead and get right into the in today's video. So let's go ahead and spin this wheel and see which creature we get in this spin and see which one we're going to be modeling today. Now there has been a lot of cool submissions and I just can't wait to model any of these. So let's go ahead and spin this wheel. It kind of strippy like when it was spinning it kind of looked brown and pink if anyone saw that. So today we're going to be modeling the sea cover raptor and I'm pretty sure the concept owner, let me go check that real quick and I'll bring you guys back. So the concept owner of this is Pixel and congratulations Pixel, I'm going to be doing a concept today. So let's go ahead and go into Blender and let's go ahead and just do that, yes. Okay, so now we are in Blender, and as you can see, we have the last model from the first episode. Now, what I'm basically going to be doing is I'm actually going to bring this guy all the way over here. And then bring this one on later on but uh, what i'm gonna be doing is basically lining them up each episode i go so i will basically be showing them all in like the thing because this thing is huge like you can basically like you have infinite amount of space in here so i'm just going to be doing that for all the episodes i make which is probably going to be a lot but as you can see right here we have the concept now i thought this was a four leaf clover i think it is it's either four leaf or three leaf clover i'm thinking um but yeah as you can see it's a rare chance to get four leaf i'm right about that it was a leaf clover or something um it looks super cute with its face i'm just excited to make this guy he reminds me of maybe like a chameleon or something uh, I'm not sure if it's a chameleon. I can't remember. The face reminds me of something, but this guy is going to be really exciting to make, so let's get right into the video. So first thing I start off with is adding a mesh in a cube, and then finding the cube, of course, and then we go ahead and we add subdivision. We add shade smooth, auto smooth, and 40, I think, degrees. I'm thinking that's what it's called. Then after that, we go into the coloring, and basically we get all its simple colors, so let's go ahead and get the main color. I normally like to get the primary or main color, whatever you guys want to call it, and then go ahead and add the others. Now, of course, you won't really need you won't really need some of these colors, like you can just make a whole, um, well, basically you could go in here and just pick any of the colors. Now, we do have the other colors from the other one, so I'm basically just going to be choosing different ones. I think the eyes are a different color, but I'm going to get black in there just in case. Yeah, I think it just has three colors, which is pretty simple, so let's go ahead and get to the modeling part. Okay, so I kind of got the base of it down. Now, if you guys want to see how I'm basically model, I will be doing like an advanced tutorial very soon. Um, I'm not going to be doing like everything I'm going to be recording for the sake of time on the videos because I don't want it to have like a 30 minute time. Now, 20 minutes, okay, but 30 minutes kind of over the edge and I kind of don't want that. And I also do want to say that if you guys want this in your game, please tell me ahead of time before I model well, or before you submit it. You could just put it in your submission that hey I want this for my game because then I can worry about the Triss count because as you guys probably know from my first episode I'm not really worried much about the Trish count I'm more so worried about just making the model look good so if you guys want this in your game then definitely tell me because well in your submissions because if not it's gonna be high Triss and then yeah it's going to be a little bit um laggy because Roblox is just that weak so <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and shape this guy and do some of the other stuff and other details and I'll bring you guys back okay so we kind of got the base of the body down now it was kind of complicated with the shaping right here because as you can see it has three sets of feet or legs whatever you guys want to call it on each side so it's kind of sometimes it's kind of difficult to shape it and I normally just put like 
a little no, I don't put it too far in mainly to make it look like that but um yeah that's what I did so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna shape these little four leaf clover or three leaf clover I think it's called three leaf if it's just three I'm not exactly sure um but we're gonna go ahead and model this guy get the base of him done and then we're gonna basically copy him around here and sometimes we're gonna make a new model for the other one details if they don't fit it so let's go ahead and do that now with my details, I did want to say this, is um, when I am making a detail, I like to make it not too high of Trish. Now, the reason I do that mainly is because if I'm using it for a game, I don't want it to be high because Roblox just is very weak and it doesn't really handle Trish very good. So I have to kind of improvise and make them a little bit lower in um, Trish, Trish, I'm going to call it Triangle because it's an easier name for it. Um, because it's just like that. I don't know why, but it's like that. Um, now what I basically do to make it lower is I just, well, I'm not, what I'm doing right now is not lowering it. I am just, um, making this shape here, which is very complicated and I cannot focus when I'm doing that. So yeah, I'm going to bring you guys back when I finish this. Okay. So we do finally have the base down for this guy. Now what I basically do to lower the Trish count on details is if it's kind of like this, I kind of take the middle, which was right here, and I just dissolve it. You want to make sure you're on two as, as well. Now, I did say I wasn't going to do much tips, but I will do some tips, depending on the thing. Now, as you can see, I don't really take out a lot of them as it does to deform the shape a little bit. But I feel like if this was a little bit sharper, it's going to fit the model perfectly. So I'm going to go ahead and sharpen this because it kind of looks a little bit weird in my opinion right now. Like, okay, that looks pretty good. Other than these, I need to get rid of those like you. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So I just got to get rid of these little angles and then I think I will be good on this detail. So that looks actually pretty good. Now we just got to do some simple shading. Um, not shading, I mean simple, what's it called? I can't remember what it's called. Simple shaping. Yes, I, I, I don't know why I forgot what it was called. Now, I do this a lot with the copy and paste. Like, if I copy and paste, say, one part, I will normally kind of shape it a little bit to look a little bit different than what I've copied because that's just what I do. Now, I do gonna go ahead and make these little details and also add in a little bit more. And then I will bring you guys back because I've been doing a lot of talking. Okay, so now that I have the tail basically done with this detail, I kind of made it a little bit bigger and also a little bit puffier. Now, I did make the details, well, I should have joined those together. That, ooh, that's terrible, okay. Uh, yeah, I don't think you should join yours together unless you're super sure about this. I'm going to go ahead and fix this problem and then hopefully bring you guys back. Okay, so problem fixed. I do want to say if you guys are modeling, by the way, so you don't have this problem happen to you, don't. You can join them because joining is a very good thing to do when you are modeling. It helps with rigging. It makes it so much easier, like with the teeth, for example. Um, but I do want to say that make sure that you have basically like put one to the side before you join these together. So I'm going to go ahead and join these together real quick again. Oh, I almost joined that to the wrong one. I don't think that's it. No, this is it. So you kind of want to have a sample over here. So then basically if you guys need it, then it's right there. But we're going to go ahead and do these back details. Now this one like fits perfectly basically with this right here. But I can do a little bit of adjustments. And I do have a little bit of an idea for the back because I feel like just one isn't enough. So we're going to go ahead, do that, and bring you guys back when I am starting the legs. So I am almost done. I have the body completed, but not the legs or the head. And as you guys probably know from watching my modeling videos, if you guys haven't noticed already, I like to do the head last. For some reason, I just like to do that. So we got a headless body um, for a few. So we're going to go ahead, move on to the legs and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and do that. So with the legs, it's a little bit difficult sometimes with depending on how the people draw it. As you can see right here, I mean, it gives a little bit of a curve of the, like, what is this called? Thigh, I'm thinking it's called. I don't even know what it's called. Oh my God. I think it's a thigh. Yeah, I think it's a thigh. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, it's kind of difficult sometimes when you're trying to make an accurate kind of torso. I'm not saying, well, not torso, I mean, tor thigh why do i keep saying torso and other stuff it's thigh um but 
or like whatever you guys want to call it I cannot talk today um, but yeah sometimes it's a bit challenging when they kind of draw like this I'm not saying it's bad I'm just saying it makes it a little bit difficult with how it's looking or how it turned out and basically stuff like that but I mean the legs I can do them I can make them work like this it's not really much that different it's just sometimes I have to improvise and make them a little bit better and geez that's a fat leg I like to always do those guys gone because that's just my style and I know a lot of people have different styles and it also makes it look a lot cleaner in my opinion so I do that a lot to my models so if you see me doing that it's probably because I'm either getting rid of the trish or I just don't like the way it looks with the roundish I mean I don't know it just looks a little bit weird as you can see we have three of these to go which I mean the two right here are actually not gonna be that difficult mainly because they are like the exact same so I could just copy and paste one of the arms that I make so it's not too difficult thank goodness I mean if you guys make a concept with like six legs I'm going to be an absolute pain I'm not saying to do it please don't do it if any one of you watching this please do not make one with six legs and they all look different because that one is gonna be a real pain to make and I don't look forward to that I'm, I'm just saying I don't look forward to that but yeah I'm gonna make this leg and shape it and then bring you guys back okay so I kind of made the leg I'll show you guys in a second well there you go basically all you really need to see for that now we're gonna do the toes my kind of least favorite depending on how the toes are, are. as you can see this one's gonna be very difficult the toes I mean they're not really positioned for a t-pose but I do have an idea because I do make concepts without concepts I do make models without concepts so it all depends on the thing and I kind of feel like a, a long toe would be cool I'm thinking I mean I'm always gonna change it so if it looks bad right now excuse it because I always have this thing where I spend like 30 minutes or so looking at a leg or looking at a, like a toe that I made without a concept I'm like I don't know this doesn't look good and then I change it so I'm actually going to make this a lot shorter because I don't like toes that are very long <laughs> I don't know why but I just don't and I'm also gonna make you a lot skinnier because you need to lose some weight there toe um I always do this to them too but I actually thought what if I did it to that one that looks okay I mean I'm gonna actually keep that no I don't like that at all <laughs> no okay what about that I mean that looks okay as well so we might as well do that let's see how this looks if I just destroy these lines right here edges let me just do this real quick okay so I did get a little bit of time put into these feet or toes because we didn't really have much of a concept to go on with the toes as the toes are kind of messy in the concept so I went with like maybe like a frog like look or like a gecko like look I can't remember which one it was um, with the legs because it kind of reminds me of those so that's what the back legs are gonna be I am going to actually work on the front legs now which are gonna be super easy because they're both the same so I just have to make one and then I'll make the other and I'll probably use the same kind of feet like here but a little bit different so I'm gonna do that and then I'll make the head okay so now that we kind of have the base of this um, leg or arm I mean uh, we kind of do need to put a little bit of a pattern right there so I'm gonna go ahead and do that okay so now that we kind of have the pattern I normally like to mirror my legs and my arms for my creatures normally because it does lower the creatures count and it also does help a lot easier with patterns so I don't have to do both sides now again it's not something that I do all the time because sometimes it can ruin it in a way um, but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and use this foot I kind of duplicated the like foot the middle one right here and we're somehow gonna make this work I feel like it should be like uh, kind of crooked at this moment so alright so I think maybe we're gonna have like one right here and then the other ones at the bottom but I'm not exactly sure what I want to do yet kind of just seeing what looks good and what doesn't I want this to um I want this to curve a little bit because I feel like that because as you can see these are kind of like curved and they're not really straight like this now again if this looks terribly bad I might just redo the um leg or the not like the foot or the toe whatever you guys want to call it all together sometimes I have to do that because sometimes it just doesn't look good at all which is understandable so far it's doing okay sometimes I mess up and I have to redo this whole thing again but it looks like I did it perfectly fine 
I mean, it could be a little bit more. Sorry, my cat. If you guys heard that, that's my cat. She was going crazy. But anyway, um, I feel like this should curve a little bit more. Sometimes it's difficult. I feel like that's okay. It's not too bad. I'm not really worried much about the, like, the, um... I cannot talk today. The, uh... What's it called? Fingers. That's whatever, whatever they call it. Fingers, whatever. I feel like something like that might be good. Again, this is just a rough draft, so... Well, the legs or the feet, whatever you call them, fingers. They are kind of like a rough draft at the moment because I'm kind of seeing what looks good and what doesn't. So, if I don't like this, I might redo the fingers altogether. It all depends on what it looks like and how it is at the finished product. I think this looks actually pretty okay. I mean, it looks okay. It doesn't look too bad. Now, if it was like for a game or something, I probably would emphasize this. But for now, I feel like that looks good. I just need to edit the arm to look like it's shaped with this as well. Because sometimes the arms do not look like they're shaped with it, as you can see. Um, so let me do that real quick difficult task see I don't like arms that much like I don't like doing the arms I'm more so to the legs because I really don't like arms sometimes they can look really weird if I make them I feel like that should be a bit tinier now it's uneven I mean that looks okay for this part it's not too bad. It does fit it. So, we're gonna go with this. And I think that's gonna be the legs. Let's go ahead and move on to the arm face. Now, I kinda didn't do anything right here because I don't feel like that looks good as you can see right here. This is like the body. I feel like this looks okay. I don't really think we need one of these there. I did make the middle one actually bigger because they were the same size on the concept. But I feel like the middle one would give more support on the body if it's a little bit bigger. So, I feel like that's something that's good. I might move these up a tiny bit because they do look a little unproportioned in a way. Let me just do that real quick, actually. So the hits are my least favorite out of everything on models, mainly because sometimes they can have a lot of detail. And because sometimes heads have a lot to do on them, example would be the mouth, the teeth, all that stuff like that. And also the tongues as well because it's kind of detailed sometimes and also there's eyes. So yeah, they're not my favorite and I'm not going to do too much detail as this isn't going to be for a game or anything like that. So thank God there isn't much detail going to be put into this. But it's going to be put like some detail will be put in this into this um, head just to make it look okay. Now this head kind of looks already okay with the shape it is now. Um, yeah, I kind of like that shape pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and make the top of the head and then make the bottom. So I'm really like, I don't know what I'm going to be doing with these because there's like little spike things that spike. They look like teeth or something. I don't know exactly what I'm going to be doing with those, but I will find out later in when I'm making this, uh, this head. Normally I would make those separate, but it depends on the model itself and how it looks with those on like just like uh one part of its own or like together with the head sometimes it does look good with the head but other than that not really so i'm gonna go ahead and just shape this because that's what i gotta do for this guy um and then see what i can do for these teeth i might just make a little bit different of a teeth because i really don't like these teeth um, I feel like they don't fit the, the creature that's right here, but it's all just my opinion, so if you guys have other opinions, then yeah. So the head, or oh, the head, the eyes are kind of big, so we're gonna go ahead and start with the eyes because I like to start with the eyes right after I shape it. Um, but I'm gonna actually go ahead and just mirror this guy, just so then I don't have to worry about that part because I always forget for some reason, like I always forget to mirror it and then later on when I need to mirror it, it's kind of too late and stuff like that. I also need to make its mouth. I normally just cut it like this and then extrude upwards after I select the end part of where I put it. So then I'll just go like this. And there, there's your mouth. It's pretty simple. It's like the simplest thing to do. Now other people probably do it differently, but that's how I do it just to save time and for it to be simple. Okay, so we got the top of the head done. Now, I really do like this. This is so adorable. Oh my gosh, I love this. Like, this is probably one of my favorites of my cute creatures. Like, it's just cool. Um, anyway, let me make sure that everything's selected real quick because I want to do something. I want to kind of bring the head a little bit up because it does look a little weird. 
maybe size it down a tiny bit because sometimes it kind of looks a bit weird if it's too big now that's perfect all we got to do now is make the little like bottom part but I want to do the teeth as well real quick I normally don't do teeth sometimes depending on what the concept is like requiring like some don't require like teeth or anything like that so um, I'm gonna go ahead and find a way to make good teeth. I kind of want to make these white now I'm gonna make them different than the concept mainly because I just feel like they should be made different than the concept So I'm gonna find like some good teeth and then settle for those I kind of think like maybe like little small pointy teeth would fit I'm not exactly sure so I'm gonna do that and then bring you guys back and do the bottom of the mouth Okay, so now that we have we kind of did a little bit of teeth. Let me just hide this real quick so this is the teeth I kind of went with now they don't really match very much and I kind of don't like these guys right here Eh, I mean that's okay I guess it can look like that <laughs> but I'm gonna just keep those there um it doesn't really fit them as much but I don't really like teeth anyway like on these guys I was thinking maybe no teeth but I feel like this guy should have teeth um and I'm going to go ahead and do the bottom mouth now and do the tongue and stuff and then I think we'll be done with this model so with the mouth or like the bottom mouth, it's kind of a lot easier for me to make mainly because I already have the size of what I want with the mouth or the head or whatever it's called, whatever you guys want to call it. Um, so it's a lot easier for me to size and everything like that. The only really difficulty is doing like the detail of this stuff, which is not really that surprising. So I'm just going to like make this shape real quick and then probably just, yeah. Probably just make the details and stuff like that. There's not really much for the bottom mouth as it doesn't have much detail. We do have to make the details on top, but I feel like I feel like this guy doesn't really need a detail on the top. I don't know. I'll try it and see what it looks like. But if it doesn't if I don't like it, then I might just say no. Okay, so now that I kind of got the bottom mouth done, I kind of did a tongue like this. It kind of looks kind of like a frog tongue because it kind of does look like it's like um relevant to like a frog or something so i kind of made the tongue look like that in a way i'm going to go ahead and parent some of these so that i can show you guys the final product um with these guys parented so we don't have to really worry about all that kind of messy stuff so i'm gonna do that and then show you guys the whole model completed anyway guys this is what i have for the model now i feel like this is a really good model that i made i feel like it's a pretty good one um the only thing i really don't like is these arms but that's probably it for the guy um i would give this like an 8 out of 10 mainly because the model was okay i like the model but i feel like there's some things i could have improved on the concept was amazing though and i really love the idea i just feel like maybe the um next concept if you're watching this next concept try making a little bit more of a cleaner feet like toes or anything like that to make it a little bit easier but other than that i really love this concept but i think this is gonna be it for today's video comment down below do you like this guy right here or do you like this guy over here this was my one from my first um episode that i made and the one i made right now is the second one which is the second episode i'm making right now do you like this one better or do you like him better comment down below which one you like better and if you think i did a great job hope you guys enjoyed today's video and i'll see you guys in the next one